It's time for a different take on the wireless contract. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. T-Mobile is killing the traditional two-year wireless contract. The carrier jumped the gun on its scheduled Tuesday announcement and changed its website over the weekend with new pricing. Before, when you got a discount on a new phone, you really were paying for that phone over time through the data plan. T-Mobile is ditching that system, but here's the kicker. You can either pay for a phone at full price up front or pay off a phone over the course of time with monthly fees. A two-gig data plan with unlimited talk and text will cost you $60 a month, but if you want to get the Samsung Galaxy S3, you could pay $110 up front and pay an extra $20 a month for two years until you pay off the phone. And if you get an older or less popular phone, you might not have to pay anything up front and just pay a lower monthly fee to pay it off. Expect to get more details on the new pricing structure in the days to come. Barnes & Noble is working to bring in-app payments to Nook tablets. In-app purchases are common in games where players might buy items to improve their chances of winning. It's also worth noting that Barnes & Noble is running a special deal until March 30th. If you buy a Nook HD Plus tablet, you get a free Nook Simple Touch e-ink reader, which normally goes for $80. LinkedIn has improved its search engine. The system will tailor a search result to your interests and network. So if you type in product manager, you might get a different result from somewhere else. It'll get smarter with more searches and it'll let you get alerts for saved searches. Lawmakers in West Virginia are seeking to ban drivers from using Google Glass. It would be an amendment to a current law that prohibits texting while driving, but to also prohibit wearing a wearable computer with a head-mounted display while behind the wheel because that's also distracted driving. If you've been waiting for the HTC One smartphone and it's all aluminum body, it's facing a launch delay because of camera parts. The HTC One is expected to arrive in the U.S. by the end of April. There's some good Android app news today. Snip Snap is a coupon app that lets you scan your printed, clipped coupons and save them into your phone, or you can find coupons that are scanned by other users. It's been available for free in iTunes, but now it's on Android. And the Evernote app for Android is updated with features that are found in the iOS version, such as new home screen tools and the page camera. It takes a photo of your written notes and turns them into digital notes, and it works well with the specially designed Evernote Moleskin Notebook. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at the blog, cnet.com update, and you can follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.